What do you get when you mix databases, your customer support tickets, and email with AI? Nothing. Well, nothing without agentic data access. Hi, I'm Anushrit. I'm going to show you how to build an AI assistant with agentic data access using PromQL. I'll show you PromQL in action, and then I'll walk you through the five steps required to connect your data with AI so I can perform complex tasks just using natural language. Spoiler alert, it takes less than five minutes. Let's look at PromQL in action. This is an assistant that we created for our customer support team. This is connected to a bunch of different data sources, such as the user data in Postgres, uh, product users data in BigQuery, and our ticketing system, which is Zendesk. So let's start by asking a question, like who are our top five customers by revenue? Now to answer this question, Promkill first thinks, is the revenue data available somewhere? If not, how should I go about answering this question? It understands that maybe if I look at all the invoices that have been generated till date, group each invoice for each user, sum up the invoice amounts for each user, and see who are the top five. That's how I get the top five customers by revenue. And that's exactly what it does. It shows the result in this nice artifact on the side with all the different uh, customers, their emails, and the total revenue that they're generated. Now, if I ask a follow-up question, like, how many support tickets do each of these customers have? Now, to answer this question, it needs to understand what do I mean by these customers? It does not try to remember the customer names and emails in its own LLM context. It retrieves the information from this previously created artifact in real time, and then runs a loop on them and fetches the number of tickets for each of these users. And that's what we have here. For each of these users, this is the number of support tickets that they have raised. Now, let's say I want to dive deep into one specific user's support tickets. So let's say the third user who has five support tickets. So if I ask a question, like for the third user, fetch the details of their tickets, including the comments on them, then summarize each ticket and classify how well they have been resolved. And don't just give me a binary classification. Uh, be more nuanced in that. So create five categories. Now, this is a little more complicated uh, query. It needs to understand who is the specific third user, which it retrieves from its artifact. It needs to fetch the details of each of the tickets that this user has ever raised, including all the comments on them, then iterate through all of these tickets, call another LLM to summarize each ticket, and then call another LLM to categorize how well that specific ticket has been resolved. So it comes up with that query plan. It implements that query plan, and it's executing it. There you go. So it gets me the details of each of those tickets, creates a nice summary of each of those uh, tickets, including the comments on them, and then finally gives me a resolution status. Now let's say based on my analysis, I want to issue $50 in credit to this specific user's highest revenue generating project. So let's ask our assistant to do that. Issue $50 in credits to this user's highest revenue project. Now to do this, it needs to understand who the user is, how many projects do they have, how much revenue has each of the projects generated? Which project has the highest revenue? And then that, for that specific project, it needs to issue $50 in credit. It's about to issue the credit and it asks me for my confirmation. You don't want your AI to have free reign over manipulating your data. So this is a human in the loop kind of mechanism. Let's say I click on approve. There you go. It, um, it issues the credits. So this is an example of a really powerful AI assistant built using PromQL on your data. Now let's see how we can actually build such an assistant in less than five minutes. So let's see how easy it is to build an e-commerce assistant uh, using PromQL. So the first thing I'll do is set up the data delivery uh, network. The Hasura DDN is basically the layer that connects your data to your AI. So for that, I'll initialize my supergraph. Supergraph is the metadata layer across all your data sources. So I'll initialize this uh, supergraph by running this command. 
Next, I'll go into this uh, directory and initialize the connector. Let's say I have my e-commerce data in a Postgres database. So I'll initialize a Postgres connector. I'm going to select Postgres. I'll let it pick a connector. I'm going to pass my Postgres connection string. And my connector is set up. Now I'll introspect the schema of my uh, Postgres database and pull it into my uh, supergraph. Now I'll add all the models from this in introspected schema. And I'll all, uh, add all the relationships. Now I'll initialize a project on the Hasura cloud. You can also do this locally. And finally, I'll push my supergraph to the Hasura cloud. That's it. That's all that was required to set up your assistant. Now let's look at it if it works. Let's head to the Hasura console. On the console, I can see this project, which has been created zero seconds ago. I'll open that project. I'll head to prompt QL. It will ask me to pick my LLM provider and provide my API key. So I'm going to pick Anthropic. And now I'm going to enter my API key. And just with that, no, your assistant is live. Let's ask a question to the assistant. Let's ask something like, who are my top five spenders? How many orders do have they placed? And how many reviews have they written? As we saw before, PromQL comes up with a query plan to answer this question, which where it needs to retrieve data from multiple tables. It implements that query plan. It executes that query plan and comes up with an answer. These are your top five customers by the total spend that they have. This is the number of order count that they have. And this is the number of reviews they've written. That is how easy it is to build a PromQL assistant on your data. You can use PromQL across all your business. Maybe your product managers can't get a hold of the data analysts and they don't know how to write SQL queries. Or maybe you want to build a powerful assistant on your own website for your users. Or build something for yourself for personal use. What are you going to build with PromQL? Check it out at promql.hasra.io. The link is in the description. Follow one of the Getting Started guides in the docs and build something amazing using your LLM and your data. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the AWS Developers YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.